welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and welcome to date night um we should come up with like a phrase or something to say when it's date night how about date night anyways we just got back from the gym so we're in not date night clothes or this could be date night clothes because we're staying at home so, um, we are going to go and get dressed, and I'm going to let you know a little bit about what the state night is. So, we're going back in time to 1954, I think. So, we are going to do a Sabrina date night. So, if you haven't heard the Audrey Hepburn movie, it's one of her most popular movies. But we're going to first get dressed up in our 1950s style clothing. I think it's the, I think my dress is 1950s because it's shorter, like it shows my ankles. I suggest for this date night that you do some sort of getting dressed up, just make yourself feel fancy and pretty, and we are dressing up in the time period because that's part of the fun. We're also going to be using Binging with Babish, I'll link the cookbook down below, to make the cheese souffle from the movie. Um, so we're going to go get dressed up, put on the movie, and then I will show you our date night. As always, and we'll always as in like for from here on out, um, in the description box I will leave the date night kit with all of the supplies that you'll need to make this date night possible. I won't be putting the recipe, you'll just have to follow along as best you can from this this because as I say in my cooking videos, when I use an actual published book and not an online recipe that I can't link, um, is I don't feel like it's very fair to the writer, like the author, the publisher. Um, to share a recipe from a book that I've purchased. So I'll leave a link to the book um, and you can follow along the best you can to make a cheese souffle. So we're gonna go get dressed now. Woo. This dress is actually pretty special to me because it was my grandmother's. I'm a little bit like my rib cage is larger than hers, I think. I think it's super fun to like dress up for date nights, even if they're at home date nights, because it just feels nice to like, even if you're not like getting super dolled up, like I didn't do my makeup or anything, I just put on lipstick, but just like getting in a dress and feeling fancy, like it just feels nice. At least it does to me. So we're gonna make this cheese souffle, and I think that it's so cute because like in the movie, um, Sabrina's souffle falls apart because um, she's not happily in love. So it's a cute date, like date idea, you know, but don't look at it as a test of true love because you can never know if a souffle is gonna fall flat or not. It's pretty unpredictable. It has to do with like temperature in the oven, your altitude, a lot of stuff like that. So we're gonna hope my souffle does not fall flat because I am very happily in love. But we'll find out, I guess. This will be, you know. So I have a one and a half quart um, dish. This is what the souffle is going to go into. Um, so right now, I'm just going to get the ingredients together and then we'll start cooking. So I have my Dijon mustard that I'm gonna use one and a half teaspoons. Half a teaspoon nutmeg, one teaspoon kosher salt. I have my fourth a cup flour, five egg yolks, five egg whites, a fourth a cup Parmesan, six ounces Greer, Greer, Greer cheese shredded, one cup milk, and three tablespoons um, softened butter. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375 with my rack on the in the center of the oven. Green milk. Whisking until 
free of clumps. Remove from heat and whisk egg yolks one at a time. Now I didn't, I se didn't separate them. Oh, I forgot to add the nutmeg and salt. Nutmeg. The egg whites. batter make sure over prepared souffle dish until half an inch from the top that looks about half an inch from the top place dish in center of oven and bake keeping oven door closed for 20 minutes and then cook 25 just 30 minutes total i'm like a little nervous that the souffle i've never tried to make a souffle so i didn't know that there was supposed to be some sort of pressure on souffle but it is in the oven, out of my hands. I'm going to put together a little um, like charcuterie board, which is some stuff that I have in our fridge already because it's kind of late and I'm kind of hungry. And we're gonna go ahead and start the movie. I just did some like carrots and um, apples, cranberries, apricots, and some nuts. Play falls means we're not in love. I did not know that. <laughs> I've never seen it. Uh -huh. I love caramel apples. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Burn. So I really haven't seen this movie before, so I didn't really have like a good gauge of what to plan for. But they seem to have a theme around champagne and like bringing champagne to the solarium. So I suggest champagne for after dinner drinks. That was kind of a weird movie. It had all the plot twists. It did have, it had plot twists. And it was kind of funny. I liked it. Um, now it's time to clean up from dinner. The souffle was delicious. Wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, let, let us go clean up. I feel like this is the this is the vibe. Like this is the style of coming back in. What do you think? I think you're worth it. I think you look cute in it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. It would really help me out with the YouTube. Comment down below anything that you'd like to see from me. And it would be my heart super happy if you subscribe to my channel so that we can be friends. Um, I have recently started sharing our at-home date nights on 
here, obviously, if you're watching one. I am trying to figure out a schedule that works best to get all my videos up and all my ideas up um, consistently. So subscribe for more. It'll be super fun. And if you have any um, at home date night ideas you want us to try and share, that'd be cool. Just like, let me know. <laughs> all right, bye. Do you want to blow a kiss? Well, I have one hand here and the other has apricot. Bye.